up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we're going to be doing another Super Plastic unboxing. So as you can see here I have our latest Super Plastic. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have to pay a customs charge on this yet. I haven't had anything through. Just to let you know, this is the latest pickup that we have managed to get, uh, but it hasn't sold out, so you can still go grab it from the Super Plastic store, that's absolutely fine. The postage to the UK is absolutely terrible at the moment. You are looking around about £30 to get this delivered. You're probably better off. I wish I'd have done it, but I hadn't because I just stick to it because I thought it might sell out and I wanted to make sure I got one. Is to check out all the UK online stores. What I'll do is I'll get a nice list together in the description down below of all the UK stores that sell super plastic that will sell this specific super plastic as well so you guys can go ahead and grab one for yourself. Okay so you might pay a little bit more um, but we'll have to work it out but then you're going to still avoid the £30 uh, delivery charge I'm hoping anyway. So let's get into this and find out. I have actually got my tablet here and I bought this solely to look up stuff that I didn't really know too much about. I got this super plastic because I thought it was really cool and I really like it. Sometimes you can just buy things if you like it. You don't have to know the character or know too much about it. You can just buy it if you want to. It's entirely up to you. I'm a collector like that. Sometimes I buy something because I really like the look of it. Emma didn't like it too much because she's got a phobia of all these little uh, round balls. So that's probably going to give it away. And I'm going to just take it out and show you. So... Again, we have the information leaflet in there. We do have um, the stickers again. So I've got quite a few of these now, actually. Um, probably about four of those. So that's looking really good. And the packaging wise, it isn't the best packaging in the world. So let's hope that it isn't damaged. And let's have a quick look. So <clears throat> I'm hoping I can do it justice. Um, by just giving you a nice bit of information about this. So this is Treason. So the information that I have, and please do correct me if I say it wrong. Um, so Treason is a fictional character um, created by Hong Kong illustrator, um, it's Booby um, Aeon. So there you go, I'm hoping I said that right. And there it says that it's a webcomic vinyl toy and a book um, has also been made about Treason as well. So this is Treason's box. Look at how cool that is. So in the um, in the images that I've had a look to look up about Treason, he has like a stick sticking out of him. I don't know whether he's meant to hold the stick or whether the stick is actually something that sticks out of him. I'm not too sure. I do need to look at that. I will leave all the links um, to go on to um, the artists and all the information about Treason so you guys can go down in the um, description below and have a look for yourself. So the box is really nice. So here you go. So this is the box at the side. So it's all wood effect, a uh, really nice box, really simple design. I do like it. It says janky on the top, so that's really cool. And it obviously says super plastic as well. So I'm just going to just undo the bottom of this here. Take it from the bottom first. It's definitely going to be a nice one for the collection. I do want to let you guys know, um, I these are the ones I have. I really need to get lighting set up in here at some point. Um, I got rid of Cranky, my um, my mint green Cranky. I have sold him on um, because there's so many coming out and I feel like it's going to be really difficult for me to collect all the other ones without going absolutely crazy. I want to start saving for Series 3 and try and finish off Series 1 of the mini ones. So maybe one day in the future we might get back onto Cranky's. But for now he's gone and um, we're going to concentrate on some of the ones of the pieces that we really, really, um, really like. So it's not that I don't like the Cranky pieces. It's just that there's so many more to collect and hard to get hold of uh, that I, you know, I'm just going to stick to... Uh, the eight inches, the one, but, I'm, but I have like, you know, there's another, um, there's another one of these cool cats, and I know that I did a video and I kept calling it a him, and I know it is a she, um, of the Tado ones. I know there's another one with the gold jacket, and I do want to go pick that up, but the price with the postage on Super Plastic is stopping me from doing that at the moment. So I will check the UK stores, um, hopefully that they've got them at a reasonable price, and I can get one from there. But I will let you know. So. And there is also another one that just came out recently as well. I just can't remember which one it is, but it doesn't really matter because we will do videos and information on Super Plastic as we go along. He's so cool. So here's his little stick thing. So he's got it in a little bag. Oh, it came out of the bag really easily. So that's the little 
um, stick there. That's cool. And I guess, like, he probably would just hold the stick, so that would be cool. So he holds it really easily. He's got articulated arms and shoes that could come off as well. And I just like the feel of all the little bubbles that are on his head. He, he almost looks fluffy, even though he's made of plastic. Um, but yeah, I do really like this one. I had to pick him up. I just like his little cute face because obviously it is pretty much similar to the Be Nice ones. So I really like that. But there you go. So with the grain effect, that is actually engraved into the body. So that grain effect there that you can see the wood effect, that is part of the super plastic uh, toy, or should I say art toy because Come on, these are not toys really, are they? They're artists, um, you know. They're artist drawings brought to life, imagination brought to life. Look, it's just absolutely fantastic. And the bubbles here and on the ears, um, it just feels it just feels like wood. So it feels like you're actually touching wood. So it feels really nice. And then I like all the little um, bubbles here because it just reminds me of like like a nice big thick fur woolly coat um, that you'd wear in the winter. So I really like that. The shoes are nice. They're so good. The shoes are really detailed. I love the contrast in the color because they're not too bright. So they're sort of like toned down along with his um, body. But there you go. So he's going to make such a great addition uh, to the super plastic family. Um, here so he gets to be with all his um, fellows so there you go guys if you've got this one yourself please make sure you comment in the comment section down below I hope you like this video please check out uh, all the details on this tree some because he's really cool and uh, it, which will all be available for you in the comment section down below and yeah if you like it give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe just by clicking the button just down here and I'll see you guys on the next one take care now bye bye